Hey there, I received a question on how do you take your logic project and then create an mp3 mix down. So that, the term for that is bounce in, in our uh, logic. So here's the way I would suggest doing it. The upper area here above the ruler, um, you want to draw a green line from left to right, not from right to left. That'll give you a, a striped line that has a totally different function. So you're going to need to adjust this to uh, to be the exact length of the MP3 or whatever format you want to create. So let, let's say I want it for this long for my songs. So that's my first step. The next thing I want to do is just hit this bounce button. Um, if if there's a different fader here that you you don't see this output fader with the bounce, then it's also available under file. I don't usually do it here, so that's why I'm balking. So I guess um, this command would do it. Command B is that they would do it as well. Brings up this dialog. So if, if we want to create an MP3, well, let's do one step at a time. Let's name it. So this is Jillian's song. Um, the default is to save it within the project folder and that, that's definitely one way to do it you can also have it duplicated in your iTunes library if you check this box down here right. if th this PCM is um, a standard file um, type e either a, it means fully not compressed like an mp3 it's a full quality file so within that PCM, you can choose one of the other file format types. So PCM is just a full quality file. It's about 10 times as big as an MP3. So if you want to create an MP3, select MP3. Um, again, add to the iTunes library if you want. Choose your your bit rate. That's you know about a medium or or so quality there that it should be fine. And the reason why we selected that region up here is because that's the default that the start and end for this will be. So that's that's why we do that. Um, you can either have it bounce in real time, meaning you're going to hear it as as it plays, so you get one last less chance to listen to it. And um, one one reason this can be helpful is check it out. Is, is as I do this, if I hear something go wrong. Well, it didn't work for me, but you can hit on the fly, you can hit um, command period on your keyboard, and it will stop the bounce, and you can make whatever adjustments that you want. And once, <clears throat> once you stop it, and you go back to bounce it again, all your presets are still saved. It's still called the same thing, and everything else is still saved. So, unlike other DAWs, that, that you don't have to re-enter all this information um, if you stopped it in the middle of the bounce. Um, is that pretty much it? I think that's about it. Um, for the normalize, typically I'll have that on overload protection only. Normalize is going to take your, your digital waveform and if it's um, quiet, if it's on the underside, it's going to, if it's uh, fully normaled, then it's going to boost the highest sounding um, sound that you created in your file. It's going to boost it to 100% of, of digital loudness. So, and then it'll boost everything else um, proportionally. So. Typically, I just use overload protection only, meaning don't mess with my file only um, if there's going to be things that go out the ceiling of the, the digital ceiling, then go ahead and protect me from those clips, but um, don't normalize it otherwise. So that, that's the one I, I tend to use there. So I hope this is helpful. And uh, once, once you're done, you can either click on this to deactivate your loop region because otherwise it's going to keep on looping and looping um, as you play it. You can also deactivate the loop with this button down here. Alright, well I hope this is a helpful tutorial and uh, good luck with your projects.